gets the fish He knows the facts He always makes fishing fun For you and everyone Fish Facts TV Fish Facts TV It's time for Fish Facts TV Fish Facts TV, we're out here in Jacksonville, Florida. Um, this is my casting clinic, so I did some basics of casting a spinning reel. While I was teaching my wife, I realized that maybe other people might have some questions as well. So we're catching Spanish mackerel. We got a couple bluefish as well, and a couple little jacks at the beginning. So uh, I go over the basics of an overhand cast, an underhand cast, uh, and a flip cast. So hope you enjoy. All right, Fish Facts TV here. What I'm gonna do is show you how to cast. As you can see, this reel is already kind of covered in a lot of hooks and or a lot of scales, but that's because we've been catching fish. Now, if you're casting a spinning reel, regardless of what type of cast you want to do, you want to pinch the line up against the cork or whatever type of grip you have, and then flip the bale. Once you do that, for this case, we'll just drop it just to show you. So now that the bale's open, it opens like that. All right. Now we're going to go over a couple of the basic type of casts. Now, the first type of cast we'll show you is the over or the underhand. This is a very popular type of cast, similar to the flip. It's kind of a hybrid between the flip and the un, or the overhand. So, all right, here we go. There we go. Jack Craval. Yeah, we we see these the schools of huge ones around Brickle Key sometimes. All right, the underhand cast. Get it ready, and oh, there we go, right under the boat. So this type of cast, you start the same, remember, pinch the line, but instead of flipping it under, like the flip in the underhand, you flip it over. So you take it back, you leave about half the length of the rod, maybe a little bit more, and you just go over. Now I'm grabbing the line to slow it down, but that's how you hit the overhand cast. There we go. There we go. Now the next one we're gonna do is similar to the overhand, um, but it's at a little different angle if you're not able to go totally overhand. This one is called the side. Get back. So with the side, you're gonna swing it almost like a baseball bat. So instead of going over, you're going to the side. Oop, and I think, oh, no, you gotta. Spanish mackerel. Here, let me try that thing. All right. Yeah, we've got a couple of two and a half pounders. But they. And then the last one I want to go over today is similar to the underhand that I showed you earlier, but this one is usually when you're aiming for a specific spot. So just say there's a point you know, halfway between the rocks. 
So instead of the underhand where I'm going to go straight out, the flip you really want to go higher. So watch this. So you're not using all your strength like the overhand. Let me get one more side and overhand when I have a little bit more space. My dad was in the front of the boat. Oh, this is a perfect cast and it's not twisted. Oh, there you go. <laughs> There we go. Oh, perfect relief. All right, here's another overhand. You're really able to get the most distance on that overhand. I think I'm pretty close. Ooh, drag was a little loose, but that felt like a good little strike right there. Oh yeah, look at this one. Now this one swallowed it. Oh, never mind. It's just on me. All right, we'll do one more side. The side, like I said, is the baseball bat cap. And the only reason I'm grabbing the line like that is because they're huge rocks. Have the captain hook it. Oh, yeah. oh, there you go. Tip up, tip up, tip up, tip up. Tip up, tip up. There you go. He's got one Spanish mackerel. Oh, there's three or four of them behind it. Oh, there we go. Perfect release. Minimal work. You don't have to. Danger. Once you hook one, you don't have to really catch it. Okay. So just take See, time and yeah, 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 as soon as you... Well, you have to hand me that part up there, I can't, you know what I it's mean? It's still on there. So. Keep real, yeah, I'm not going to let you hand it to you until... That's a good one, yeah. You know, would you take a picture, please? I don't want to cast it. I might get the wrong. You know my aim is. All right. Oh, I just got two in a row. I can't tell. Oh, that's it, yeah. Look, lift up, lift up, rots him up. You don't have to keep real fast once you have it. It's a big one. There we go. You got it, you got it. Just real, real. Go up to the front, go up to the front. Follow the fish. It's the biggest one of the day. Rod tip up, rod tip up. Oh, that's a blue. That's why it's fighting. Okay, well, walk around the motor, walk around the motor, or keep the rod tip out. <laughs> no, it's just one. All right, all right. Bring it to me, bring it to me. Ooh, there we, that's a good one. Oh, that's Spanish. All right, Dad, you want to get a picture of us with it? Sure. That's a good one. I got him. Fishbacks TV, these mackerel are on fire. 
So I hope you enjoyed the casting clinic and you can now apply some of the casts that I taught you and my lovely wife because they sure are working for her. Ugh. The problem is sometimes when you let it sink, it gets twisted. Well, I got, like, there you go. Well, rod right tip, rod right tip, rod right tip. Oh, beautiful fish. Oh, that one. Oh, maybe it's just the lighting. It looks greener. Oh, yeah. Oh, there we go. Feels like a blue. I watched it one day. Yeah. He's not blue. I watched it one day. I was amazed. Oh, it's a Spanish. Yeah. Where's the hooker? Oh. I just got one right under where you are, so reel it fast. Ah, oh, came off. Oh, that was a big one. Oh, I got it, I got it. I got it. Oh, <laughs> it's Yeah, like there was a ton in Miami, but all the ones in Miami mostly are, there we go. Well, there's tons of these size too. Oh, I need the pliers for this one.